I am making one ingredient flatbread today if you don't include the water and the salt. What we're going to do is we're going to heat up a pan. What you will need is one cup of all-purpose flour. You can substitute this with wheat flour or actually any kind of flour you like. You wanna add one teaspoon of salt to your flour. Just gonna mix that all up so the salt blends in with the flour. And now you wanna add a half a cup of water. We're gonna take a fork, we're gonna blend this up so that it all starts to stick together. And once it starts to stick together, I'm gonna place a little bit of flour on your counter or cutting board or whatever you'd like to use and wash your hands before you touch food and now you want to just knead this together for a few minutes so once you have a nice little ball like this you want to cut it in half and do four small round flatbreads you also can just leave it whole and make a pizza dough out of it. All right, so we have our dough because we're gonna roll these out with our rolling pin. Okay. We're going to place this in a very hot pan for about one minute, 30 seconds on this side and then we're gonna flip it. You can see how it's getting brown. That means it's done on that side. And while you're waiting, you can take out a pretty plate. We're gonna place it on our plate. I decided to take one piece and make some thyme flatbread, and I just um, grabbed a bit of dry thyme and rolled it into there. The only thing I would suggest is to make sure that you roll it out pretty thin. And voila, you have homemade flatbread. How easy was that? Salt. And this right here is thyme. Look how beautiful that looks. Look at that perfect flatbread. And what did it take? If I only did one piece, it would have taken me maybe three minutes total to do. That's our flatbread. It is delicious. Uh, have a great day. And um, that's it. I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.